Well, good day, everyone. Welcome to uh, episode two of my vlog. Uh, today I'm down at the Quinana Grain Terminal. I'm going to photograph that. The, the Grain Terminal is uh, just north of uh, Rockingham Foreshore. Um, fairly great big terminal that goes out into the, the uh, Coburn Sound where the big ships come in and collect the grain to go overseas. Uh, a little bit of cloud in there in the sky tonight, so hopefully we'll get some colour. A uh, very light sea breeze, so we're going to try and do some long exposures. And as I get ready and start walking down, um, flick through to you to have a look at some um, drone footage that I took yesterday when I came down and did my uh, reconnaissance. So you'll see what the area is like. So we we'll go go to that drone footage now. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you all very shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, Coburn Sound, and that is the grain terminal out there. As you'll probably notice from looking at the drone footage, there was no ship there yesterday, but there is today, and it is getting full of grain. Okay, I've set up for the, the first image. This is just going to be my test image. Um, F10, about 60th of a second. I'll take that image now. It looks all right. It's uh, the harsh light from the sun still coming across. But we'll see how we go. Okay, well that's going to be my test image, so from that one I'm going to be adjusting all my other images from. So I'll put that image up now so you know what I was looking at. And I'll look at putting the 10 stopper on and see how we go from there. Okay, I took my test image. Um, I've now put a uh, medium soft edge uh, neutral, graduated neutral density filter on and my 10 stopper that's given me a time of 15 seconds so I'll just set that up see how we go to get that to slow the water down take that shot now a little bit dark so I might go for a 10 second shot but I'll put that image up now so you can have a quick look No, change my mind again. I'm going to go 30 seconds. So we'll see how it works out. 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, first image I took at 15 seconds was a little bit too dark. So what I did was I changed it up to uh, 30 seconds. Certainly looks a little bit better. The histogram is a bit more um, even towards what I want. So what I'll do now is uh, we'll just wait for the sun to drop in the sky a little bit more and uh, see if that colour comes in. I'll now put that 30 second image up now so you can have a look and uh, see what you think. And I'll speak to you again very, very shortly. Okay, I've just changed my composition ever so slightly. Um, I'm gonna give this a go, F10 at 30 seconds. The sun's starting to set over to the west. Um, there's a little bit of cloud in the sky over the grain tunnel, so hopefully with the long exposures, I get that nice wispy cloud in the sky with some pinks and some other colours, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, that looks all right. I'll put that image up on the screen now for you to have a look at. And I'm gonna just wait now for the uh, sun to drop a bit further, and I'll be back to you in a minute. Another slight adjustment to my uh, composition, just as the clouds slowly moving in the sky and all that, I'm just trying to capture it so it goes over the grain terminal and I want to get as much as the grain terminal with the ship in and the, the slope as the terminal, as the conveyor belt goes up to the top. Uh, sun sets in about 10 minutes, so I'll take this exposure now and we'll see how we go. 
Okay, the sun's starting to get close to the horizon now. I've kept the tent stopper in. I did try another uh, lighter um, neutral density filter, but it just was too light. So I put the tent stopper back in, going for about a 40 second exposure. See how that goes. All right, 40 seconds. Yeah, not too bad. I might go a 50 second and see how we come out with that one. There's some color just starting to come into the, the clouds. They're starting to move quite freely, but well, hopefully it looks all right. Okay, we come up to the 50 second mark, 45, 50. Yeah, looks pretty good. I'll put that one up on screen now for you to have a look at and see what you think. Just made a slight adjustment to my uh, setup. Just needed to add a bit more light onto me. Hopefully it's gonna work out all right. Okay, I'm gonna go for a 60 second exposure as the sun goes down. One minute. Ooh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I'll put that one up on the screen. Uh, I might just go. Just my uh, composition ever so slightly. Just take the filters off for that. Okay, what I've done is I've um, readjusted my horizon so I get a bit more of the sky in. I'm going for a 70 second exposure. It's quite a bit of um, colour coming into the sky. The sun's actually dropped now, right on time. And the colour's starting to come out in the sky. So we'll hang around for a few more minutes yet, because often the best colour comes after it's set. Right, I decided I was going to go for a 80 second exposure instead of a 70 second one. So we're at 76 now. 80 seconds. Oh yes, that looks all right. I'll put that one up and give it a couple more minutes and I'll take a I'll take another one in a, a few minutes. Okay, I'm going to go for a two and a half minute exposure. I'll change the composition slightly and we'll see how that one turns out. Uh, I've got a few people walking on the beach, but if they walk past fast enough, they shouldn't come into the image. The colour now is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And the, some of the stars are starting to come through too. Oh wow. Now that's a good one. I'm going to adjust my composition just ever so slightly. And I'm going to go for three minutes this time. Alright, so this one's going to be three minutes. I'll just put the last one up on screen now so you can have a look at it. Comment in the uh, section below what, what you think, let me know. Um, composition here is a little bit limiting, but I was trying to capture the, the sky with the clouds. The only place that is is really over the part that I'm on now and a bit to the right. I could have gone down a bit further and, and got a bit more of a leading line in, but I rather like where I am now. So we'll see how we go. Now this one's going to be three minutes and then that'll probably be it, I think. But beautiful, beautiful night here in Rockingham. few people down on the beach watching the sunset, a few swimming, a lot of people walking their dogs. Okay, coming up to three minutes. Three minutes. Ah yes, that looks good. All right, I'm going to end it there. The clouds are dissipating, the colour's starting to drop out of them a bit, so it's about time for me to to pack up and go. Um, thank you for watching this uh, episode number two vlog of mine at the Quinana Grain Terminal. I hope you enjoyed it. 
hope it works out okay as i say if you like the video give me a, a, a quick thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to keep watching me next episode i'll do next week i'm not sure where i'll do it. i might do it over the palm beach jetty which is on the other side of coburn sound around the bay there a bit and uh, see how we go it might be a, a morning shot because afternoons is usually a bit too busy but we'll wait and see so anyway thanks hope everyone goes well stay safe and healthy bye